Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chin, and in this video, I will be showing you how to install Side Custom Model Loader. And also the mod that you are going to need to get it to work, Bepinex. As it just so happens, I made a nice easy to install mod on the Nexus mods, which includes Bepinex and also another mod that you're going to need, Universal Asset Loader. So if you go ahead and take a look in the timeline of this video, you'll be able to see several chapters. The first chapter is going to be general tips and tricks for new modders. If you're a new modder, you better watch this. Or else I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to spank you. That's right. But... If you already know what you're doing, go ahead and skip to the Bepinex part. I won't be offended. So, why don't we just jump straight into the tricks and tips. <laughs> so, here's just a little bit of advice for everybody. Make sure when you're downloading mods, you're reading the description. Uh, because the different mods require different requirements. And it just so happens that there will probably be more tools that will be created after this video. That I won't have a video created directly for. So... Make sure that when you're going for a, a mod that you like, say Ashley Graves, there's absolutely no judgment passed here. I know you love it just as much as I do. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and look for a requirement. This one, it's not specifically listed. But if you go ahead and scroll down, you'll be able to see that the installation requires you to install Side Custom Models Loader. So that's cool and all. But what if you don't see that? What if it requires a different one? CJ on the other hand, has its requirements listed right here. You can go ahead and click that, and it says Universal Asset Loader. Universal Asset Loader was made slightly before uh, Custom Model Loader, so, you know, just make sure that when you're doing these things, you're reading the description. <laughs> Why don't we get started with the actual part of this tutorial? So, go to Steam, go to Side, right-click on it, Manage, Browse Local Files. It should look like this. Now we can go ahead and actually install Bepinex, but not just any Bepinex. My Bepinex. The one that I made packaged with Universal Asset Loader already installed. This just makes modding that much easier for you, and it just simplifies the process a lot. Go ahead, manual download it. I've already done this, so make sure that when you're extracting this, you have WinRAR or 7-zip installed. Right-click on it, WinRAR, extract it to its own folder. Go ahead, open it up. Double click on me side and go ahead, drag, hover over everything, and drag it into your me side folder. Now, when you open up me side, you should be able to see add ons in your close menu. I'll show you. All right, so you probably should have noticed that when you started up a game, it took a little longer to start up with a command prompt and all that. That's normal, completely fine. Go to clothes, boom, add ons should be there. I already clicked on it. <laughs> Uh, cat ears is the test one that comes with the stuff by normal so you can go ahead and click cat ears just to give it a test um, if your game did not boot and you just got like red text on the command prompt or whatever um, make sure that your antivirus is not uninstalling files uh, yeah that's, that's really all I got so now we can head into custom model loader all right why don't we actually go ahead and do the title of the video eh go ahead files custom model loader Manual download. I've already downloaded it, just like before. Go ahead, make sure you have WinRAR or 7-zip. When you go ahead and extract it, extract it to its own folder, just like that. Open it up. Now, what you want to do want to do is go over to me side, go to Bepinex, plugins, and then just drag the two of these in there. Now, go ahead and run your game. All right, once you're in game, just to verify that it's installed correctly, click F1. You should see this menu pop up, and this will show you that, hey, it's working, baby. Now we can go ahead and install Ashley Graves. And then, just to show how to install mods for Ultimate, sorry, Universal Asset Loader, we'll also install CJ. Okay, so now that you've run the game, you confirm everything works, you press F1, everything works great, you should be able to see this folder called Models. That means everything is working great, and Custom Model Loader has installed correctly. So, to test out these, I'm going to be showing you how to install Ashley Graves. All these outfits will also be in the description. Ashley Graves is for Custom Model Loader, and CJ is for Universal Asset Loader. Uh, Universal Asset Loader is somewhat more complicated to install, so we're going to first go with Custom Model Loader. Go ahead, extract that, WinRAR, extract it to its own file again. Ashley, open it up. We're just going to go all the way in until we see all. Now we're going to mimic that over here until we go to all. You'll notice it's empty. So go ahead, open that up, 
and drag those files in. Now, Laylee will be inside of your game. All right, now let's install CJ. So he's for Universal Asset Loader and is slightly more complicated. Go ahead, right click, WinRAR, extract. Open them up and then, this is actually fairly simple, this part. Just go into Universal Asset Loader, Assets, and then this is where you're gonna wanna drag in the CJ. So no matter what you're installing, CJ, Doki Doki Literature Club characters, uh, make sure when you're dragging in the folder, it opens straight to either FBXs or PNGs. If you don't do that, it will basically break your window and you won't be able to see your clothes or anything. Go ahead, drag it in. Now this is the slightly more complicated part. You should be able to see two addons.config.txt. This is what allows Misai to actually find these files, basically. Open up the base one that comes with it and make some space for the at the bottom. Go ahead and open up the one in CJ or whatever it is that you are using. And for CJ, it is listed at the very bottom, just like this, as CJ Media. Go ahead, copy all the text just like this. Copy it, go over to the other one, and then paste it. There. Uh, dumb scare, make sure that when you are adding in the text into the addons.config.txt, make sure that when you are done, you are uh, pressing save, either control S or press the save button. <laughs> now, when you go over to clothes and add-ons, you should be able to see CJ Mita up here. And I'll show you right now. You would not believe how many takes this video took me just because I fumble my words. So, now that you're in, you can immediately check to see if Laylee works or Ashley Graves, whatever. Go ahead, press F1 like you did before, and now you'll be able to click on any one and see. Look at that baby. Now your favorite psychopathic girlfriend is in me side too. Now, we're also going to test CJ to make sure he worked fine. Go over to clothes, add-ons, make sure you go over to add-ons, and you should be able to scroll all the way down to see CJ Mita. If you did everything right, it should work flawlessly and now you'll be able to install pretty much any mod that you want. Here's a quick little bonus tip, a little bonus for all you people who uh, don't know how to install just normal clothes and outfits, um, especially if you install a mod and it has, says data, like right here. This just means that it's a basic skin and you should install it into data. <laughs> so I'll show you with the uh, red punk right here. Go ahead, go to data, go to custom, and then this is where you're going to install all your different outfits. Just drag it in. Make sure that when you're dragging in any outfit, it opens directly to PNGs. Um, if it doesn't, like the other thing, it will break your me side and you will not be able to select different outfits. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, make sure you like and subscribe. Do you know that like 99% of people aren't subscribed to my channel? You better do that. Do you know how much takes this, 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 my, I stutter. I'm a stuttering mess for some reason in front of a camera when I have to make instructional videos. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I don't want to do a whole lot of tutorial videos, but I did this because there was enough request for it. Um, and I like helping people out. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any problems, any issues um, that aren't solved by this video, uh, you can go ahead and join my Discord channel, or you can join the official MeSide Discord channel. Um, either one works, but I want more people in my community, so you should come over to the MeSide Discord. Uh, it's called Senior Caribou Corner. Senior Caribou's Corner. Forgot about it for a second. Yeah. Hey, thanks, everybody. I, I appreciate it. Bye-bye.